Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. I don't know if you're watching Traders, but if you are and you haven't seen this episode, episode six, this may be a spoiler alert. So you may want to come back. But baby, let me tell you something. Furniture Parks is killing it. Let's get into it. So in the morning, after everybody comes together for breakfast, they realize who has not been unalived the night before, right? So all these people have come in. Um, there were some things that happened in this particular one, and Dan was devastated. So now they have their assignment that they have to do today, and this is for $20,000. So they had an hour to get a catapult put together, launch the ball, and the one that was closest to the target won. Ciao. Sheree won. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. You want to talk about somebody who does the least? This woman right here, I couldn't even believe that she won. This is this is luck. But I'm happy for Sheree. So she got a shield. She can't be voted out. And that's good. But when I tell you Sheree is Sheree is like watching paint dry. So this is where they meet at the end of the show, right? This is the round table. This is when they decide who's going to be banished from the house. And what they're trying to do is banish a traitor. Hold on. Phaedra is a traitor. Poverty from Survivor is a traitor. And Dan from Big Brother is a traitor. Now, they are all good. And they are working it out. But baby, this round table was one for the books. So Dan's name has been buzzing around the house, right? So he says he's got to get in here. He's got to do his thing. Dan has been really quiet. He has not had a lot of gameplay. He's been throwing a lot of people off. But people are, like, suspecting him because he's so quiet and they know his gameplay. Dan is ruthless, right? He is a ruthless player. And for me, I was shocked just to see how quiet he was at this point. So, child, he has come up with a theory of who he thinks the traitor is. Let's get into it. Since day one, I've been watching one person. And it's time for that to come up. So, Dan is pulling out his big brother bag of tricks, right? Because Dan is the ultimate big brother player like he is fantastic now he hasn't been talking all this season but now he's like raise your hands whose name has been written down so all these people raise their hand except for phaedra sandra and poverty then he says that's not enough but then he continues to go on until he gets to his bottom person so now he's come to the voting patterns as the reasons that he may know who the traitor is he brought up charade because she voted for John, and if you watch, like, that was crazy. But he came down to the only two, who was Poverty, who is a traitor, and Phaedra, who is a traitor, along with himself. So they looking crazy. Phaedra, you can literally see steam coming off her lip gloss. Then he told Poverty that she had a vote outside of the norm, and the dude that she voted for was suspect, and she said he's still a suspect. He said then that leaves Phaedra. The reason Phaedra's lips are so tight, <laughs> Phaedra is furious, like furious. Y'all, don't Phaedra look like your grandmama in church when you're doing something you're not supposed to do and she in the choir stand and she trying to get your attention and then this face makes you stop talking? Baby, that's what happened in the whole room, right? Dancing here talking about where well, your, your votes were crazy. You voted for Ekansu. That was crazy. She explained that. He said that it was odd how she consoled Larsa when Marcus was voted out. She said, well, because I'm a housewife? And then she started talking about Bergie. Bergie was voted out by Dan. Phaedra didn't want him to go, but he came back. So Dan was like, oh, Bergalicious. Phaedra ate him up. Larsa, yeah. because I'm consoling Larsa? Yeah. A fellow housewife? What was yeah. I supposed to do? Have her uh, boyfriend got sent home? Uh, I'm just, these are... No, I don't understand this. Yeah. yeah. I, it was well, just, what's the logic behind that? The logic behind me is that it's always like a little bit extra. Like... Have you seen her? Uh, that's, that's true. <gasps> I'm and, very extra, okay. baby. I do too much because you do too little. Uh, but tonight, you're way too much. Because you know you're getting ready to get banished. Baby, when I tell you Phaedra... 
had him turn upside down, inside out, in any which way but loose. At this moment, this is when Dan knew that he had messed up. Insert any phrase that you like. It's that too, right? She went on to tell him that she didn't know the things that he knew. She had no idea who was safe, who wasn't safe, because nobody really talks to Phaedra like they think she's a traitor yet. And honey... <laughs> Let's keep going. So Poverty has chimed in and she said she was trusting Dan. And then she went on to say the reasons she was trusting him to end saying that she trusted the wrong person. So there is more attention and eyes on Dan. So as Dan is talking, right, and he's giving Phaedra the business, John up here is looking at Dan very perplexed like, right? So now it's time to vote. Of course, Phaedra writes Dan's name down, right? Someone else writes Dan's name down. When it gets to John, John gives a spill like no other. And it kind of sealed Dan's fate. I'm going to play just a little bit because it is so good to me. My vote is for Dan. I listened intently to you, Dan, tonight. And your deflection was on to Phaedra. And that case was comprehensively rebutted. Treachery deserves to be punished by banishment. Banishment, my dear friend, should be your fate tonight. This was so good to me. And I think I said this before. Everybody whose name was written down was a traitor. Dan wrote Phaedra's name down. Poverty wrote Dan's name down. And Phaedra wrote Dan's name down. So Dan went home, right? So now it's only two traders, Poverty and Phaedra. And now they have to make a decision. So their decision as the only two traders left is they can actually unalive someone tonight. So then the next day when they come for breakfast, someone won't be there. Or they could pull somebody in and make them a traitor too. Now, who they're thinking about pulling in is Peter. Peter is from The Bachelor. He's the pilot. Um, he's smart, but not very smart. Because they were all gathered in a room to celebrate after Dan left. So, Peter kind of wrangles his group together to go in another room by themselves. Which makes them look like an alliance. So, while everybody is celebrating, Peter pulls out these other four people. Which makes them look like an alliance. So Poverty's like, oh, let's go find them. Where are they? So they get in the room and she's like, oh, this looks like an alliance meeting, right? So you got Bergie, Peter, Trishel, John, and Kevin. Now Peter looks real crazy. So now Poverty and Phaedra are here making a decision, right? It's only two of them left because Dan is gone. So then Alan comes in and says, this is what can happen. You two can stay here, but you will have to unalive someone or you can pull a faithful out and they can become a traitor. Poverty wants to pull Peter, which I knew she would do. I don't think it's smart because Peter could really burn her at the end by telling everybody she is a traitor. And he will also know Phaedra is a traitor. But Poverty is really on his radar. But Poverty's thinking is pull him in, let him vote out all his other people. Because when they find out he's a traitor, they're going to turn against him. I mean, Poverty did survive Survivor, right? She was a great player in Survivor. But I don't know how this is going to work. But let me tell y'all something. We'll see if Peter accepts next week. But honey, let me tell you something. Phaedra is the reason to watch this show. I had never seen Phaedra in anything like this. Like, this is a challenging show, right? Phaedra being a lawyer, y'all, she is so good. And I know how some of you may feel about her. But she is playing this part. Phaedra is a star, and she deserves to be on our television. She may be a villain to you, but she is great TV. Sheree, on the other hand, <sighs> paint dry. It's your girl Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.